Hello girls, it's Mr. Betcher here. Let me uh, run you through uh, some ideas for this week's task. Um, you don't have to do it exactly like this, this is just an idea, uh, and you can read more about it in the actual task description. But here's, here's a way you might approach this task, and, and I don't usually ask you to do something unless I've tried it myself, so here's how I did it. Um, take from what you will. So first thing I started with is a piece of audio here, there's an MP3 file. And I got this from the radio, I actually recorded it from the radio. Um, I had a little piece of software on my computer that lets me record uh, the audio that's going through it. And so I've got this track. It's a recording from the ABC of an interview with the Education Minister, Christopher Pine. Now, uh, you can get uh, an audio track from anywhere you like. It needs to be someone talking. An interview works really well. Politicians work really well. Uh, and you can download a lot of this, uh, a lot of the ABC sites, you can go there to their podcast directory and actually just download the MP3 files directly from their podcast directory. Uh, but there's a number of ways you can find these files. So if you get stuck, just, just let me know. So what we have here is a, an MP3 file. If I play a little bit of it, um, let's just open this up. Who says a cultural left agenda is failing Australian students. I'll just fast forward a bit. Three themes, Asia, Australia's place in Asia, sustainability, and Indigenous Australia, which doesn't always seem... So you can see it's just an interview with the, the Minister for Education, and it goes on, it's about six minutes long. Now here's what I did with this, so let's put this track aside. I've got uh, an app here that you've probably used before called Audacity, and Audacity is an audio editor. So all I did was to simply open this track, this MP3 track in Audacity, simple way to do that, just drag it in, and it will import in, and you'll be able to edit it just like this. So you can see there's the audio waveform. If I stick my cursor in there and press play. Criticism. The truth is our results have been declining for students over the last 10... Okay, so it's just talking. Now, you might want to zoom in a little bit on this. There's a plus button up here in Audacity that lets you zoom in, zoom in, and you can start to see the waveforms of the actual speech. So these are audio waveforms. This, this is the, the vibrations in the air captured by the microphone and recorded. And if I stick my mouse in there and press uh, press the play button. Now, critics have suggested that your choice of reviewers is a political ploy to start a cultural war within it. Okay. Now, what you can do in Audacity is if you do, you can actually identify, you can see the little gaps uh, between this the speaking. So if I was to put my mouse and select just that bit, I'd just get a word or a phrase. So. And today I announced two reviewers who I think will do a very good job. Okay, so it's just that phrase. Play it again. And today I announced two reviewers who I think will do a very good job. And so on. And so you can come in here to pretty much any point in the in the audio here. Well, I just think that's a very sad criticism. All right, and we can pull out things. Now, when you find a phrase that you like, uh, what you can do is, because it's selected, you go to the File menu in Audacity and you say Export Selection. And it will just suck that little piece of audio out as its individual audio file. So I say export selection, and I, um, I'll call this, now because he was said, he said, what did he say there? Um, it's a criticism, so I'm just gonna call this criticism, okay? So I can identify it later. So I'll say that it's criticism and say save, and uh, just say okay to that. And so here is the file right here, and I'll just um, move this aside for a second. I'll just bring this up, and you'll see if I now just open that. Well, I just think that's a very sad criticism. It's just that phrase, okay? So your first job in, uh, in doing this task then is to find a piece of audio that you think is interesting, and then go through it in Audacity, highlight out individual phrases, so what's this one here? Whether it's domestic or international studies. And then you can start to take those things and put them together. Now, let me just do one more here for you. So I say export selection. And uh, that was about domestic studies, so I'm just going to call it studies. And we'll export that out and we'll say OK. All right, so now I have a file here called studies. Now, if I was to, I'm just going to close this um, uh, master audio file up, get rid of that. If I was to drag in this one called studies, you see there it is there, and I'll now drag into this one called criticism. I could start to mess around with this. Let's, uh, let's just sort of zoom in a little bit and I might just take this file and slide it along like that. And I can start to take something that was said in one instance and mix it with something that was said somewhere else. So now if we were to play that whole thing back. Whether it's domestic or international studies. Well, I just think that's a very sad criticism. 
we can actually take different parts of the sentence and rearrange them into sentences. And if you want, you can completely change the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so that's kind of step one, is to take the audio and chop it up into little bits. Now let me show you, I've actually, here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, I won't bother saving that. So I have a folder here, which contains uh, that six minute speech, six, uh, six minute, 41 second speech, and I've chopped it down into little bits. So for example, here is uh, this one here. Students getting worse and worse results. All right, just that, here's the other one. Parents know that's not true. Okay, parents know that's not true. Here's another one. They're our priority. Now you can start to take all of these little snippets and put them together in a way that maybe changes the meaning a little bit. And that's, that's what I want you to do, is do this remix. Now you can do it in Audacity. It will work fine in Audacity. You can just take the little bits and chop them up. I want to show you how I will take that a step further. Uh, if you've got a Mac, uh, this is really easy because you use GarageBand. If you don't have a Mac, then there might be some Windows software that will also let you do this. In fact, th there is Windows software um, that will let you do it. Or you can just do it in Audacity. It will work in Audacity. So what you want to do is find yourself an audio track of some sort, like some sort of rhythm or beat or uh, music that doesn't have any words to it. And then you're going to use these little um, phrases to become the words to the music. Okay? So you're actually going to write a piece of music or find a piece of music and put your own um, uh, um, track of speaking, or singing, not really singing, uh, but your own uh, lyric track to it using the chopped up words. I'm gonna show you one I made in GarageBand, just so you get the idea. So uh, here is, uh, this is GarageBand. And again, this is Mac only, unfortunately. And you can see what, what we have here, this blue one here is um, a bass line. And this green one here is uh, drums, and this other green one is more drums. So if I just turn some of these off for a second, let's turn turn them off uh, one by one. Uh, so we'll get rid of uh, we'll turn them all off. Okay, turn them all off there. Now I'll just turn the, the drums on. So this is what the drum sounds like. Okay. Now on top of that. Rewind that a little bit. I've added a bass line. So I've just found a bass and overlaid the two things together. So here's the, the bass track on top of those drums. Okay, so you've got that. And then there's this other track that comes in. So I leave two bars here, because uh, actually four bars, and then this comes in on bar five. And so it starts to, I'll just play a little bit of it. There's other new drums. Okay, so the, the drip, now you really don't need any more than just drums and bass. That's enough. So if, you, if you're in GarageBand, uh, you can use the settings over here to find a drum track, find a bass track, just put the two together. Um, use your discretion or whatever you think sounds good. And the trick is to break it up a little bit. So it's not just drums and bass the whole time, but you actually sort of overlay some bits and pieces. Just to, you can see this one up here stops and starts and stops and starts. Okay, you just make it a bit more interesting. Now, the, mu the, the track that we've taken from the speech that we got from the radio is actually this track up the top here. So you can see what each of these little snippets are is a separate sentence or word, uh, and you can see they're all different lengths and they're arranged to make the lyrics for this, this rap song. Okay, so I'll just play a bit of it. We don't want to have a curriculum that is being dumbed down, and that's what we're going to do. I've appointed two reviewers, Ken Wiltshire and Kevin Donnelly, focusing on the wrong things, and that's what we're going to do. This really is politics wading into education. We actually want to be focusing on the wrong things. We actually want students getting worse and worse results. Okay, so you got the idea. So that's it, that's the task. You take a piece of audio that is meant to be a serious audio and it's just speaking. Radio interviews work really well. You'll use Audacity to chop it up into little pieces and then you'll use something like GarageBand or Audacity or um, there's, there's other pieces of software that do it. Uh, to actually rearrange the speaking into a lyric track and then put it on top of some drums. If you don't have GarageBand, that's okay. Just find a nice rhythm track that you like somewhere. Remember, bass and drums, by far the easiest to work with. 
Uh, although, you know, hey, knock yourself out if you want to try something more complicated. Uh, and that's it. Now, when you get to the end, um, and this in GarageBand, you simply uh, export the song. Uh, if you're in uh, Audacity, same thing. You'll just export the MP3 file. And so you take the MP3 file, and where you'll put it uh, is if you go to a service called uh, SoundCloud, soundcloud.com, and when you come to SoundCloud, you will need to log in. So you may need to create yourself an account. And you'll end up with uh, the ability to hit this upload button here. And you will simply upload your MP3 file. So choose a file to upload. Upload the finished MP3 file. And that's how you go. Now, when you, uh, when you upload it, uh, if I just go back to the main list again there. So here's one I made earlier. <laughs> And if you, once it's uploaded, you'll see you get this little share button. And the share button there, if you click on embed, it will give you this little snippet of code. I like the horizontal one personally. Uh, if you get this little snippet of code, and then you can take that piece of code, copy it, and then when you go over to a blog, blogger, Okay, so here's a blog, a blog, and I'll just I'll stick it on this one, for example. So when you come into your blog, you come in here and you type your post, you know, music, call it whatever you want to call it, and you can write a little description. And when you paste it in, you switch to this button that says HTML, and then you paste in that little piece of code you got from SoundCloud, and then switch back to compose mode. And what it will do is it will, it will embed that uh, piece of audio that lives on SoundCloud, but it will embed it on your blog. So when you actually publish this, and you see, uh, yeah, I don't want to actually publish it to there, but if I show you that what it looks like now in the blog itself, you end up with a blog post with the SoundCloud file embedded in it like that. And when you click play, it will actually play directly on the page. All right, so that takes you through from beginning to end. Uh, if you have any trouble with any of that, uh, please talk to me. I'm going to give you a week to do this, but honestly, this could take longer. So if you find, uh, look, I'd like it to be done next week, but if it takes you longer than that, I don't mind. Okay? So uh, have fun with the task. I think, I, think this, I think you can do some really interesting stuff with it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>